Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your Feng Shui Friday Quick Tip. We are continuing our series on doors and this is actually part five of doors and believe it or not, there is at least four more sections related to doors within your home. So today we're going to be talking about dead doors. And just as a reminder why doors are so important within your home environment or even your office environment, they represent the voice of adults in the space. So it's very, very important that we are honoring the voice of adults and allowing them to be heard. So what is a dead door? A dead door is a door that cannot be open for any particular reason. So it might be something that's actually blocked. So maybe there's something on the other side of it that can't, you know, you've got like a bookshelf or something like that on the other side of it that is blocking it from opening. Maybe it is a um, door that's intended to go to a deck and the deck or the patio has not yet been built. This is something for some reason we see a lot in the Midwest, um, a mainland US, and it's, you, people build their houses and they don't have the money or the funds to actually build the deck when they're building the house. And so they leave the deck off um, until they have the funding for that. And that actually creates a dead door because that door does not go anywhere. So um, oftentimes too, we, we may have a door situation and this isn't something that I'm going to, um, well, I guess we could sort of address that today too. Um, you may have a door situation where like the, um, the door was actually sheetrocked over because you had some reconstruction in the home. That's kind of another issue. And so if you have that particular circumstance, you're gonna to wanna to reach out and probably have a consultation with me because there's a number of different things that we need to do to remedy that particular situation. So what happens when you have a dead door in your home? It can cause stifled voices, right? Can't speak. Um, there may be a lack of communication or no communication between the adults in the home because it's blocked, right? Or, you know, it can even be like that, um, that, you know, when you, you scream in the middle of the night during a dream and there's no sound that comes out. So it may be you, you feel like you're speaking out, but no one is hearing you. So it's a, a lack of being heard can also happen with these dead doors. So what do you do if you have a dead door? Um, number one, if you have furniture that's in front of the door, I highly encourage you to move it so that the door can be opened and closed, right? Um, I had a client that uh, was actually had a bookcase or like a bookshelf that they put in front of their front door and it, you know, talk about a bad place to block energy, right? Where all the opportunities and energy come into the space. Uh, they had a bookcase in front of it. So they did end up moving that and allowing that door to be opened again. Um, if it's a deck door or a patio door and there's no patio, build the deck, right? Make the patio, create that opening so that the door goes to something, leads to something. If you are not able to um, do either of these things or if it is a um, you know, just temporarily, what do you do if there's not a um, patio or a deck or you have this dead door? You can actually hang a sun catcher or a mirror on the door. And again, energetically, that is about like allowing the energy to flow through and the sun catcher allows it to flow through. The mirror essentially expands that space and allows it to flow through. So that's an option. Or you can actually, um, if it's a door that is going to remain dead, as in like, you know, maybe you've got a refrigerator in front of it or something like that that's not able to be moved, you can place a mirror on both sides of the door, which allows, again, the energy to flow through it. And you would place that at your eye level. Um, if you've got a couple of you in the home, I would say just put it between, you know, maybe your husband's here and you're here, put it um, between the two of you at the level and so that will actually allow the energy to flow through the doors and energetically cure that dead door so that is your feng shui quick tip for this friday 
Next um, Friday, we are going to be talking about more door issues and just continuing with this beautiful series on doors. Who knew? There were so many things that could go wrong with doors, right? Have an amazing weekend. So much love to you. Aloha again, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm so excited to share with you the Feng Shui special that I have for this month. It's actually going to run through the end of May. So since I'm starting at mid-April, I decided to run it through the end of May. And the special is for a quick shift Feng Shui consult or, and that would be for a home, or uh, an introductory feng shui consultation for your business. So what does this entail? You actually receive an accurate bagua or a mental map of your space. So you're going to know exactly where the different areas in your life or your business correlate to your space. So that's a really valuable tool that you'll be able to use for the rest of the time that you are in that particular space really super valuable. Then I am going to do a floor plan analysis for you. So I will take a look and see where are the trouble spots. Where do you have money that's leaking out of your home? Where are there things that may be causing health issues? Where do you have uh, some issues per chance with relationships and what's going on there? We don't get a deep dive into the relationship piece in this one, but it's a really good start. And then you will receive a prioritized adjustments. So I will let you know kind of the order in which to do things. And uh, I will also give you the three secrets of reinforcement, which is really a way to boost the power of the adjustments that you'll be making with feng shui. So an amazing, amazing way to shift the energy in your space and in your life very quickly. These things work very, very quickly. So I'm super excited to share that with you. Normally these consultations are $350. Now for um, between now and the end of May, they will be only $297. So really, really good deal. We'll have a 45 minute consultation over the phone. So I have some pre-work that I do ahead of time. Then we'll hop on the phone and we'll talk about what's going on for 45 minutes and you will get those prioritized adjustments and your accurate bagua as well. And then anything that comes up, sometimes there's special adjustments that are, are coming through and then I will also provide those to you as well. So super, really valuable for only $2.97 for this month and through the end of May. The coupon code for this particular discount is going to be May 2018. So May 2018 will be the coupon code and that will work for either the business consultation or the home consultation. Super excited to work with you guys and can't wait to help you shift what's happening in your space and in your life.